Hey there everyone, how's it going? So this video is for those that are still in the market for a EV, specifically around Tesla. I want to talk about the supercharging network that Tesla has established over the last six plus years. And a lot of the other car manufacturer that's trying to compete with Tesla EV, they're not talking about this because they don't have an infrastructure. And what is a supercharging network within a Tesla? That is where a Tesla vehicle can go and get a quick charge for whether it's a short or long road trip or whether they need to get home from somewhere and they're short on range. And people talk about range anxiety within electric vehicle quite often and they talk about it more with a Tesla which I don't understand why because Tesla has one of the longest range battery out there today in comparison with let's say the Nissan Leaf or uh, the Chevy Bolt, it does not have the same range as the longest range battery within the Tesla lineup. So why are people talking about range anxiety? And Tesla has a supercharging network where they can actually get a quick charge 10 to 15 minutes to continue their trip and their des next destination. And they can also use other charging network. It doesn't have to be Tesla supercharging only and that's something people need to understand. So you can charge at any free or um, pay to use charge network um, whether it's at a mall or at a hotel and so forth you can use that but it's a lot slower. Okay so what is Tesla supercharging network? As you can see here this is from the Tesla navigation system within the Model 3. It's also on the Model S and X. And what this shows you is very similar to that of a gas station in your gasoline vehicle. If you have a latest um, gasoline vehicle with a GPS system, it should have a icon for you to search for your nearest gas station. So in the Tesla, this serves very similar purpose. But what's unique about this network is it's only available for Tesla and it's usually on main highways very close to all the other gas station that you would find in a gasoline vehicle and this helps you get to your destination without having to worry about long charge time and with these specific icon if you let's say if you click on one um, let's find one near where we're currently at it actually shows you how many stall are currently available. So if it's full, you probably don't want to go to that supercharging station if you have a choice. It gives you a choice, which is such a great tool to have in your Tesla. And if you're traveling from point A to point B and you know there's three or four supercharging along the way, you want to choose the one that is less busy or the one that's currently open and stop at that one so you don't have to wait in line. And it also tells you how much it costs per session per minute or by kilowatt. And this acts very similar to those secret app you will find for gas station um, where you want to find the cheapest uh, gasoline per gallon. You usually pull up like a third party app to do that. But in the Tesla it actually tells you directly on your GPS system. And now Tesla does charge for supercharging um, if you want to charge your vehicle and they charge you the same rate as the utility company within that area would charge. So they don't really make any money off that. Any vehicle grandfather uh, into last year purchase, uh, some vehicles still get free supercharging session. So you might have that vehicle if you purchase a used vehicle today. Um, then you might be grandfathered into that. But any new vehicle now, there's a charge if you use a supercharging network. And this is where I find Tesla to be superior to any other car manufacturer, whether it is Audi, e-tron, a new vehicle that's coming out, or Jaguar, I-Pace, or even, even uh, cars like the, the Nissan Volt that's been out for a while, or the Chevrolet Bolt they don't have their own charging network and if you look at this map again just look how many 
red dot icon that you see on there. And this is just the beginning. Tesla plan to double this in size by end of 2019. So supercharging station will literally be at every corner, just like how gas station is today. Tesla is trying to reach that milestone and they're six to eight years ahead of any other car manufacturer. So people might be comparing the Model 3 S or X to other vehicle, but they don't talk about the charging network. And this is where I find Tesla to be most appealing and to be superior in comparison to any other vehicle out there that's trying to compete with Tesla. So that's something I wanted to share in this video, especially for those that are still hesitant to switch to EV because they're afraid of range anxiety, whether they can get to point A or to point B without any hassle. I can tell you at a supercharging station, if it's not full, you can actually get up to well over 400 miles per hour of range, meaning that you can charge your vehicle within 40 minutes from 20 to 80%. And you can't do that with a level 2 charger. A level 2 charger will only get you between 15, depending on which vehicle you have, but between 15 and 25 miles per hour. So if you need 100 miles of range to get to your next destination, you're going to have to be there for um, at least 4 or 5 hours. So literally, you're going to have to spend the night there. And that's very inconvenient if you're on, whether it's a short road trip or long road trip. And for those that drives all day for business um, you know you you might actually won't get away with other EVs at least not yet until the third party catch up with the fast charging network and you will have to rely on third party charging network and their cost is probably more than what you would pay for if you had a gasoline vehicle but in comparison to what Tesla is charging for this supercharging network it's definitely a fraction of it maybe less than half depending on where you live but usually it's about half the price of what you will pay for gas for the same amount of range. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful. Again, this supercharging network is built into your Tesla vehicle. Only Tesla vehicle can use it. And it's also in your navigation. So it works hand in hand. And if you happen to put in a destination, and usually if you're traveling on a long road trip, although you know the direction, is highly recommend you put the address into the navigation, the GPS. So that will determine whether you will make it or not. Tesla does have an algorithm where it will determine if you're going to go up a hill, down a hill, and how much energy you will regain going down that hill. Um, and then determine if you're going to need a charge in between uh, point A to point B. And if you need a charge, it will indicate on the display stating that okay you won't make it you will need to stop for 10 minutes and it will literally tell you you only need to stop for 10 minutes to continue your route that said other vehicles currently not even gasoline vehicle has that so gasoline vehicle project how much miles you will have left per the gas within your tank now but it won't tell you to stop if you put in the destination you have a range of 300 miles, but your destination is 305 miles. It's not going to say, hey, you need to fill up at this gas station. You will have to consciously be aware that I need to get gas, um, you know, halfway. And I know there's a gas station per my GPS. So you would just fill up. But the convenient part about gas station is you can top off your vehicle uh, within five to 10 minutes versus a Tesla, you will not top off your vehicle because you don't want to wait that long. And there might be people waiting in line. So you only want to get enough range to get to your des uh, next destination. Or if you know that you will be traveling around within your next destination, you want to get a little bit more energy in your vehicle, then you will know to do that. But until Tesla roll out um, you know, the next generation supercharger, Right now, the rate is about, like I said, about 400 miles per hour of range in the Model 3, assuming uh, the supercharging station is half full. Um, they're planning to almost double that 
great. So uh, in the future, whether two years uh, from now, um, most of the supercharging that they will build, uh, the Model 3 should be able to pull in about twice that rate and that will put you in a position to get a full charge um, between 20 and 80 percent in about 20 minutes. So um, that's that's huge. So it will continue to improve but right now it's already a good system, a good network to have and for other car manufacturers to catch up it's going to take them between six and eight years at minimum. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Hopefully this was helpful. Remember to subscribe.